gentle blast pressure intensified around 500 meters from ground zero. We filmed that movement using a special device that can detect invisible flows of air. Here's how the blast expands from the center of the explosion. When the blast wave strikes the Earth, it is reflected upward to form a second, dome-shaped shock wave. Let's focus on the area where the two waves meet. One shock wave comes from above, as it expands from the core of the explosion. The other is reflected off the ground. The two blast waves then merge, more than doubling their individual pressure, and continue expanding in a horizontal direction. The combined wave grows in height and strength as it moves along the ground. This is the shock wave known as the Mach stem. We used a very small amount of explosives, but something much bigger like an atomic bomb or a huge amount of explosives or explosion would have generated the same kind of shock wave movement. The result of our experiment is in line with what happened in Nagasaki where mock reflection occurred at a short distance from ground zero and caused severe damage farther away.